Hi guys, it's Jill from the IC Network and here I am in my office with another self-help tip on living with IC. This time I have a resource that I'm really proud of that I hope will help you manage your day-to-day -day foods. You know how difficult it is to be shopping and you're looking at different brands and you're really not sure what you're supposed to get or you're out at a restaurant and you're not sure what foods are safe for you to eat without triggering an icy flare? Well, we have spent most of 2011 working on a brand new iPhone and iPad application that will help. And in fact, let me show it to you. Here we go. This is it on the iPhone. Isn't that pretty? We're so... I can't tell you how hard this was to do. It's such a relief to have it done and available for you. And we would like to thank our sponsor, Preely, for helping to underwrite the development of this app. They were invaluable. So here it is. We have a scroll bar. And on the scroll bar are all of the categories like meats, vegetables, dairies, grains, fruits. So what you get to do is you get to pick your category. So in this case, let's pick dairy. There we go. And then when you get into the category, you will see three subcategories that you should know well. Bladder friendly, try it, and caution. So if you want to find the bladder friendly dairy eggs and cheeses, just click on that and look at that. You'll have a nice list of dairy. So let's go ahead and pick butter and margarine. And then when you get to the food details, you will see a lot of very nice description that um, I spent months writing last year. We have almost 300 foods with individual descriptions in this database. You can go to try it to see the foods which might be okay, you know, try it foods are foods that bother some of the people some of the time, but you're probably going to be able to eat most of the try it foods, but they, they require kind of being slow and consistent. Try one at a time. See if you're, how your bladder responds to it. So again, you can see the foods that work in the try it category. And then caution are the foods that we're telling you that you need to avoid. Now, again, some of these when you go to the subcategories, you will see variations. So that's why you see foods listed in all three categories. That's because under ice cream, for example, here we go, this is a good example. Whoops, ice cream. We know that vanilla is gonna be icy friendly, but we know that chocolate is gonna be a um, food and a flavor that you're gonna want to avoid. So let me show it to you on the iPad. The iPad, here it is on the iPad, and it has exactly the same scroll bar, and you can do exactly the same thing. You can search through all the categories. But now the other thing that we have in this application is we have a couple of really good text files. We have flare fighting foods. What are foods that you can eat when you're in a big time flare? Or what a, bit, a better question is, what are the foods that are more bladder soothing? We also have, and in fact, we're the only people that really talk about alcohol. We have a nice section on wine, beer, and spirits because we did a very large study on our website two years ago and we were able to learn that although alcohol tends to bother about 95% of patients out there, there are forms of alcohol which actually do work for some patients. And a good example of this is wines. There are some very high acid wines that we need to avoid like champagne. I mean, if I have one swallow of champagne, I will tell you my bladder screams. It does not like it. And yet, ironically, I can have a glass of Merlot every now and then. Why? Because it's much lower in acid. And of course, one really good uh, self-help tip with alcohol is if you have it on the rocks or you dilute it with water, you're kind of diluting the effects of that. So in any case, these apps are now available on iTunes for just 99 cents. We hope that if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you will download them and, and give us your feedback. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you would like to add. You know, this is just our first generation for this app. 
So right now we're not linking to recipes. We will be linking to recipes in the future. So but we really want your creative ideas and your feedback and of course if there are any foods that we have missed. So I hope that that helps. I hope that you're having a fabulous day and as always if you're looking for any more information on IC please come visit our website at www.ic-network.com.